Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and I come down here to the Mad Scientist Lab. Um, this is our basement, and we've changed up a little bit. I'm still in the process of organizing and cleaning, but a friend of my wife's was moving and sold us these uh, shelves. So, there's my uh, wine that I'm working on. There's that um, grow box that we built, and I kind of got rid of the shelf ponics. It worked pretty good, but um, my pump was just a little too strong and kept overflowing and I had problems with it. So, there's the aquarium with the fish and it's a little murky because I wasn't getting good filtration with the shelf ponic system. Kind of got this kind of take on a floating bed where I put the plants that had survived in there. Okay. I'm not really sure what they are. They're some sort of herbs. And I think some of those little wispy ones are leaf lettuce, but, but heck, I don't know. So, I've got this other um, aquarium, and I want to do the same thing I've got over here. And basically, I've just got one of those aquarium pumps that come up into there, and then it flows all the way around and back down and then dumps back down and it, it comes into this which then flows out the side so uh, it's clearing up a little bit that was extremely murky um, but I did a couple things number one I've been pulling water out with this jar and putting into my um, uh, box here but I've also it's also been pumping through here and it's been filtering out a little bit hopefully it will um, it'll continue to get a little cleaner if not I'll just continue to, to pour it out a little bit and replace it with a chlorinated or dechlorinated water and in this one I've been putting just a little bit of the water in here too um, partly to start the uh, bacteria process that I still don't know very much about but also because I've got some duckweed right here. Um, the, the local aquarium store was kind enough to let me dip out of one of their outdoor ponds and I only had just a little bit but it's been growing and hopefully it will uh, cover this whole thing because I've been looking into it and people talk about feeding tilapia with duckweed but I've also done a little bit of research I've seen people use it uh, dried in uh, poultry feed, chicken feed, and also on, um, I'm going to try it for rabbit feed. So if I get enough of it, dehydrate it, maybe put about 25% to their rations. And we'll show you our little peppers here. And basically all these are, are a hole cut in the pipe. And then I took a soldering iron and just punched some holes and that fits in. Probably not the best system, but it works a little better so far than the shelf ponics. And uh, hopefully our little scraggly little beans will come back to life. And we'll see how that works. Anyway, that's really all I got. If this works, we're going to go to a to an even bigger scale. And uh, probably put this same setup on some of these other shelves. And um, maybe get a 50 gallon bucket with some tilapia. I'm still trying to find a good source for tilapia fry. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what we were doing. And until next time, you can always catch us online at www.tngun.com.